Hi, this is James from Drone Deer Services, and in this mission we're going to revisit the big Buckeye bait pile. We start off at the Hilton Garden Inn, uh, should be familiar if you've watched videos in the past. There's the pond behind it, the gazebo, the fountain, a nice uh, flock of uh, Canada Goose. And we kind of fly over this CRP field. Uh, look, we're going to move to a thermal mode and look for thermal signatures. Pretty quickly we find one and uh, we'll process this particular signature. Kind of have to get in position. The area, uh, we have a kind of a restricted zone where we fly less than 200 feet. Uh, this particular white-tailed deer is a doe. Looks kind of thin, uh, no bulging abdomen, but um, she's here in this uh, kind of transition area between the field. So we saw her, and now it's time to look for a fawn. This is that time of year. Uh, we thought we were going to have a fawn here. And it appears that this is uh, not a fawn, but a cottontail rabbit. Kind of disappointed here, but, um, you know, sometimes that will happen. Get some more elevation. We'll go back to the thermal mode. Find another, another thermal signature. And uh, lo and behold, we find the fawn. So here's the fawn. Looks pretty healthy. About 85 degrees, the uh, hottest time of the day. Uh, and this is about 7.30 at night. There's some more thermal signatures, which we'll talk about later. We'll continue to process this particular area as we move uh, through here down the lane. Like I said, 85 during the day and then cooled off at 7.30 at flight time. And we were flying um, at 200 feet or lower. So here's that inside corner with the CRP field. And the big buckeye bait pile. There's some some kind of logs or something there. Another thermal signature might have been a fawn, but uh, we discovered it's a cottontail rabbit. Uh, so that's our second cottontail rabbit on this mission. And it looks like to be some signage that we hadn't seen before. And as we look here, we have posted no trespassing keep out signs. So. Um, um, that's what we have. There's our big Buckeye bait pile. I imagine if you're going to post something, you'd post it there. So about 40 feet from the bait pile, we have signs. About 10 feet from the bait pile, we have a trail camera. Uh, looks like we're ready to go with this uh, s setup. Uh, this is in Finley, Ohio. Uh, <laughs> light industry, um, residential area, uh, but it looks like we have a deer hunter back here. Hopefully it's archery um, and not a firearm. Uh, looks to be a little bit close to houses and buildings. But anyway, um, spin around here, find uh, our uh, next thermal signature, kind of in this transition area with these low trees. There's a deer tucked against that uh, low, uh, kind of a smaller tree there. Have to position ourselves because in this particular shot, I cannot see the head. Uh, so we're kind of trying to figure out how to do that. And because we're so low, we, uh, we have to be very careful on our maneuvering. Uh, so here's the deer as it moved away from the tree. And we see that this deer is actually a buck. We're going to pay particular attention to the antlers here, um, you know, not very pronounced, uh, not very long. We're going to see a deer later in the video that I do not believe is the same deer, but uh, I'll let the uh, viewers decide. But we'll pivot away from this deer, look for more thermal signatures, maybe groundhogs, maybe other deer. Um, as we go down this kind of like a two track and we spin around. This is our area that we've seen groundhogs and deer in before, uh, but uh, no such luck uh, on this particular mission. So 
So as we head back to the big Buckeye bait pile, we want to process these thermal signatures uh, that we see here. Uh, some of those are what we've seen before. But there's one there in the center of the screen. It's kind of large. It looks to be like a ground blind. Very well camouflaged. I guess you'd have to be if you were, you know, shooting deer 20 feet from uh, your actual blind. But that's okay. Um, and then we have... Uh, three human beings. So we have a brunette, a blonde, and another brunette as they walk down this two track. Not sure what they're doing here. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Um, but keep in mind, the first doe we saw is about 100 feet, excuse me, 100 yards. If they keep going in that direction, they'll run into her. And about 80 yards, they'll run into the fawn. So uh, that's how close they are to actual deer, and they're less than 100 yards from the big buckeye bait pile. Uh, we we'll see folks uh, move along here. Um, it looks like the brunette might have saw the drone or heard the drone, not sure. Um, not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, not mushroom hunting. Uh, maybe that, uh, that Pokemon game or something, but anyway. Um, uh, looks like the uh, young man is bedded down. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, he's back up. Or maybe he got a tick. Or maybe he got some poison ivy. Hopefully he can identify both. Back on the ground. Uh, looks like the brunette is uh, positioning herself uh, to also be on the ground. And now, oh, there's the camera. So this is a photo shoot. Uh, fix the hair, uh, blonde uh, is taking the photos, maybe an engagement photo, not sure, but um, just young folks out uh, on a Wednesday evening in Findlay, Ohio, right next to the Big Buckeye Bait Pile. So that was interesting. So we went back to the Big Buckeye Bait Pile while uh, right after the, the young folks there. And when we came back, we saw a deer, and this deer is standing right in the middle of the big, big buckeye bait pile. Um, not sure if it's the same buck we saw earlier. I'll let you guys uh, decide. It looks like the little nubs are a little bit longer in this deer, or it may appear that way because uh, he's standing in a sea of yellow, and um, maybe, maybe it makes it easier to see uh, the actual antlers. But at this particular time, we are 72 feet above uh, this white tail. Um, might, might think he, he, something's going on, whatever. That kind of gives you a view of maybe four foot uh, diameter, big buckeye bait pile. And uh, this deer's here. He's gonna mosey off, um, tired of the corn. Uh, those cut logs may be uh, interesting to him. Uh, looks like he's approaching them from downwind, which not sure why you would do that with logs, but there may be human scent on them. And as this deer approaches, it's kind of wild. He goes right to where the saw actually touched the wood and smells. So, uh, interesting deer behavior here. I'm running out of battery. Kind of want to uh, get back, uh, um, you know, my bedtime, basically. I go to sleep early. Uh, there's the uh, road that the the trio was parked on uh, for their uh, photo shoot. As I leave the Big Buckeye bait pile, I, I'll fly above the Holiday Inn uh, pond. It's not as bright blue as the Hilton Garden Inn. There's a Ag Power John Deere dealer, so they have residential mowers and um, ag equipment there right below us to the right. And then here's some sort of winery. Um, Folks enjoying the uh, middle of June weather in Northwest Ohio. Can't really do this in January outside. Uh, 
But as we return to the uh, Hilton Garden Inn, uh, the Holiday Inn's on the left. We have uh, some flags here. The state flag of Ohio is on the left. The uh, American flag is in the middle. I think that's the Hilton flag on the right. We'll fly over the Hilton Garden Inn. By no means they're full. Uh, great hotel for travel. Clean. Uh, very well staffed. Uh, here's the fountain as we do our landing. Um, drone Deer Services. We're here to help. Go ahead and contact us and uh, we'll do our best to, uh, to help anyone out. Uh, Boomer Outdoorsman, Drone Deer Services, over and out.